Hey everybody, it's Dave Bechdel, learningvideo.com. I just want to describe the experience of going from a flat monitor to a curved monitor back to a flat monitor and what that does to your brain. Um, obviously, I, I think most, probably 99% of you guys probably just have a flat monitor. It might be not as wide as this one, it might be smaller. Um, and you've been using it for years and it's never been a problem. Well, when I went to a curved monitor four years ago, um, it took me a couple of weeks to get used to it because if you're like back then I was doing some architectural photos for a client and trying to figure out what was straight, like a line going across, like a, maybe uh, the ceiling or a roof line or something like that. And you're correcting for uh, distortion from the lens, the wide angle lens or something like that. That took probably about two weeks for my brain to get used to it. And like when I was on the curved model, I was like, okay. I could see that that is a straight line, even though I'm looking on a curved monitor. It took about two weeks. And I had that monitor for four years, and now I've got this flat monitor uh, that I, I just purchased, and I've had for about three weeks now. And it, the first two hours, it when I got this one in, because it's the exact same size as my old one, I just belt bolted it to this stand, and pff, it was like a queasy feeling. It's like in being in a house of mirrors, it was like, what is going on? This is weird because I got so used to having that curve uh, in the monitor. Um, and I almost like, man, did I make a mistake? Did going back to a flat mo monitor, was that the right choice? Because um, I was feeling so queasy and like, this is weird. But then, it, you know, it's been, I'd say probably when the first week, week and a half, I got used to lines being straight and being back to a flat monitor. It takes your brain that long. So I would say, my advice is if you're worried about getting a curved ultra wide monitor, I'd say don't just worry about the first couple of weeks of getting used to it. Cause once you get past that, you will be able to see a true straight line as being a straight line on a curved monitor. It just takes your brain a while to get used to. I remember Tom Antos did a video, I think a couple of weeks ago where he reviewed a curved monitor and he said, I just can't, I can't handle it. I was like, you know, I typed the comment. I said, just keep, keep at it for a couple of weeks. You'll get used to it. Um, I don't know if you had or not. But anyway, uh, this is my new monitor. I just got it in. It's the LG 34WK95U. Uh, on B&H right now, it goes for $1,500. I actually got this used. Um, it's probably from one of the guys that was in the comments section. There's like 28 reviews and one of the guys just didn't like it. And it was like, apparently it didn't work with his Mac, his Mac, Mac Air or something, whatever. I'm guessing I got his because he was like, I'm sending it back. So I got it and I calibrate it. And when I was setting it up, I was going through the, the on-screen menu. I noticed it only been used for four hours. So it's basically a brand new monitor. And I got it for a thousand bucks. So I got like $500 off the cost. And I was like, woo. But would I rather have a curved monitor or this flat monitor? I would rather have a curved monitor because when I'm sitting here, um, my eye goes back and forth like this uh on a curved monitor but with a flat monitor i notice i'll move my head maybe an inch or so either way kind of want doing this if something's on this side or something's on that side so uh, i'd rather have a curved monitor but the price on this one and what this can do for me now in resolve is the reason i got it so i can run through the specs really quick this is 5120 pixels wide um, by 2160 tall um, it's got a contrast ratio of 1200 Maximum brightness, uh, 600 CDM what, squared, whatever. It's got a viewing angle of 178. Although I, I don't know if it's 178, because as you can see, I'm looking at the monitor here, the amount of light that you can see off axis, and you're probably at 178 actually, in terms of the angle to that camera. Um, you, I can see it looks really dim on there. Anyway, uh, it's, it says it's a 10-bit color support, but it's really 8-bit with some, I guess, dithering that they do. Um, it looks very similar to my old LG. I gave my old LG curve monitor to my wife, and she was like, whoa, she just loves it. So when she's working, she's got like a cell spreadsheet, she's got Outlook, and she's got some, like three different things. She's like, ah, oh, I don't have to tab around anymore. This is wonderful. So I gave that to her for Christmas, and I bought this one. So the major reason why I got this one is in Resolve. And so like here, I'll just be editing away, blah, blah, blah. You know, I can look over here. And then when I'm ready to review, uh, this is on a 4K timeline, I just hit Control F. And then as you can see, there's black bars on either side, but this is a true 4K um, 
image. There's no upscaling, downscaling, any weirdness. This is like a one, true one-to-one -one representation of the 4K image, which I love. This is, this is exactly what I've been looking for because my old monitor, when I do control F, I might see some aliasing or weird jaggy lines or upscaling or downscaling weirdness. Um, what's going on in the, on the monitor because it wasn't a true 4K, but now this is truly a 4K monitor and then I'm ready to go back to edit. I just do control F and then I can edit away, um, which is great. Um, having a 4K monitor up here, uh, which would be an OLED where the blacks are like super black, that would be nice. I'm waiting for that. Maybe someday that'll actually happen. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you my experience of going from one to another and kind of give you a little mini review of this monitor. I think it's, you know, the color accuracy is actually better than my curve monitor I had before. And if you're interested, um, this one has a, uh, what's it called, a Delta E, where you see the different, your human eye, from my understanding, if it's Delta E a lesson two, you can't really, the, the normal person can't see the difference between one color versus another color if the difference is a less than two on Delta E. This one has a max Delta E of 1.32, so well below that. Um, so for me, and I set it up as an sRGB. If you're interested, I'll put down below um, all the settings, because there's a lot of different settings of this monitor you can set up before you calibrate it, and I can show you um, what I did to calibrate it. Um, and it seems really accurate. I would say the blacks on this look a little bit richer than my other one. And uh, obviously the color accuracy I think is better on this one than the previous model that I had before. Um, besides that, it's, it's, you know, it's not, a, it's an LCD. It's not L OLED or anything like that. But anyway, I'm rambling. That's pretty much it. If you're, th the thing I wanted to say, if, if you're thinking about getting a curved ultra wide monitor, uh, I'd say, don't worry about it. Just worry about the first couple of weeks of getting used to it. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.